you still got the small issue of the fact that if you do mm -hmm. manage to go it alone, the deficit in Scotland, which the audience picked you up on, picked Nicola Sturgeon up on this evening, is at 7%. In order to be a member of the EU, they insist on 3%. So you can't go alone right now and be a member of the EU. You don't meet the threshold. Well, uh, there, are, there are two things. There are a number of countries who are in the EU who joined the EU whose deficits were bigger than the 3% target. And secondly, and more importantly, if the deficit is that big, that's not built up by the Scottish Government. They run a balanced budget. That's a deficit as Scotland is part of the UK. And I've always found it a particularly weak argument, as the First Minister said tonight, for unionists to say, you know, we've messed up your economy, please give us the power to continue messing up your economy. That simply isn't credible. If anything, it's an argument for independence, not an argument to stop the democratic wishes of the Scottish people. One of the best things that we did was abolish the right to buy when it came to council houses. <laughs> Because when the Conservatives uh, sold off council houses, when Labour sold off council houses, you want to know how many they replaced? They replaced one in five. Why is, the deficit, in why five. is, why is the deficit at 7%? That has nothing to do with housing, but uh, the deficit is to do with 7%. It's, 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 it's to do with, your, fis it's to do with your fiscal capabilities. You wish to be a member of the European Union, separate to, the, to, to England, separate to Wales, you want to be independent. You can't even join the European Union because you have to be at 3%. Well, actually, the reality you're, is... So you're, you're, you're wrong on two counts. So first of all, uh, having a 7% deficit while we're part of the United Kingdom is hardly a great advert for staying within the United Kingdom. We're not independent. If we had the full powers of economic uh, fiscal levers, of course, we can make a difference. Hold on, I didn't interrupt you. The second point <laughs> is incredibly important uh, as well. Actually, you're wrong about that being a barrier to joining the EU. Croatia, Poland, Hungary all had a deficit higher than 3% and joined the European Union. Please, I absolutely respect that on this panel and in this audience, there will be differences of opinion on independence. But please do not patronise Scottish people by saying that you are far too poor. You know, every other Northern European country can be independent, can be prosperous. Next year. But somehow, Joe Scots Simpson. are going to be too poor to be independent. No, that is not the case. No.